Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. Welcome back to Confessions of a Paper Addict, 20 Days of Christmas Cup Files. We are on to day six and it is all about traditions. So I'm going to be doing things a little differently today. Um, I am now going to be sharing um, a foundation page, quote unquote, for a second album that I'm doing, which is just about... Um, it's a Christmas album, a holiday memories album is really what it's going to be. And it's going to be in an eight by um, 10 size versus the six by eight that my December daily is. So the first thing I thought I would do is I would go ahead and work with this really fun cut file. So I cut it out um, for a hop that I was doing um, to celebrate a milestone for a friend. Her name is um, Ginger and she celebrated 2000 subscribers. And so I cut out the joy, the outline of it in, um, did some misting and um, yeah, I was really excited about that. I then went back and cut this cut file, the, the, uh, the rest of the cut file out with some, I think it's the Coco Vanilla Studio a joyful collection as well. Um, and I'm going to be using that to glue it on top. And then my plan is to find a what paper I want to use, but I'm going to be making a pocket. So the word joy is going to sit on top here. I'm going to stitch. I'm going to trim this once I figure out what size I want. And then I'm also going to find some tags to slide in to work as. Um, my goal is that I'll have five different tags to document what brings joy to everyone in my family and there is five of us. So that's my plan. It could be something as simple as this. I have, um, thinking like I could do it this way and then I can do the stitching. Um, so on a transparency, that was an option there. Uh, I probably won't use that one. I like that one. But I don't know. I figured I can look. I will find something. I know one of them will work. Um, my other option was thinking of maybe a, a shaker pocket, but I don't think I want to go that far. I do kind of like that. Let's see if there's anything else that calls my name. What about with this one? Um, no, I like that red on red better, but do I like the red on red more than I like the idea of like this one too? Um, what about this? I don't love this piece of pattern paper, which you'd think is funny as to why I would pick to use it, but because it will be behind a bunch of tags, this actually might be the right option for me to do. Mm -mm. And the other thing is, is I might have to recut this um, outside out with a um, different, although I could spray it as well though. And that would be fine because then you'd have the um, stars. You know what? I'm leaning towards one of those too. I'm liking that. There's this ho 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 from this year, although I'm not trying to document that. What else do we have? Oh, okay. I don't want to use that. What about this though? Um, is it going to be too much word on word? I'm afraid it might be too much word on word if I do it like that. Yeah, too much word on word. Can't do that one. We're going to find the right one. But that is going to be my plan. I'm really excited about this one. I think it's fun. And traditions, the theme, I just wanted to talk about that too with this series. Um, just because you see a theme that says something like traditions does not mean that you need to find a tradition to document. It can be something um, a little bit more loose that works with your style and what's going to work for you. Um, so just keep that in mind. You don't always have to do exactly what um, you see. It can be um, something whereas we're all it's going to be a tradition because we're all talking about something that makes us happy within Christmas which um, a lot of times tends to be a specific tradition or something we do every year um, so that's going to bring in that idea I'm kind of liking that one too um, so yeah there's always going to be lots of different ways that you can interpret 
um, these fun prompts that are given. Um, so please just keep that in mind because you never have to do, um, be super literal with these prompts. It's all about just um, having fun and being inspired to create. That's all Virginia wants from, from us. And uh, I just hope that that keeps you, keeps you going. All right, I'm gonna use one of those. Um, the first thing I need to do, however, I've now decided is that I want to spray this cut, the outline cut file. So I sprayed this one, it's called Rose Gold Red. Um, so I just wanna do that again. So that I have this, um, this cut file um, also with the red. The green is a little bit too um, almost turquoisey versus green. It's not quite the right fit that I'm wanting. I was hoping it was going to work, but I don't think it's going to. So that's going to be my first go-to thing. And then we will figure out which pattern paper and I will show you what it looks like all done. All right, I am so excited with how this turned out, you guys. I managed to um, get the joy on there. I ended up painting the um, outline, which again was that star, um, and that's okay. Uh, the green just wasn't meshing with my plans, so I just simply went ahead and I sprayed it the same color as the red at first, which worked, but then it looked a little dingy-ish so I added this um it's a gold metallic paint I've had forever um, and I just added that around the outside which matched the gold that was in the sparkles from this red I then added some Spiegel Mom scraps sequins and the color I used was actually strawberry patch um it's a really fun mix of a bunch of reds and greens and then these golds which I used around the wreath which I thought was really really pretty stitched it to make the pocket and then um, I'm thinking I'm gonna do like I said tags uh, the other option is a really large photo um, there's a whole bunch of different things I can do with it it's a pocket you can do whatever you want with it but I do think I will go ahead and do the tag idea I just think it looks really pretty and um, there are a few different there's like three different sizes so I don't know I like it I love how it turned out can't wait to, um, I think I'll do one for each kid, one for Sean and I, and just kind of talk about things that bring us joy in uh, the Christmas season. This is going into, again, a 10 by 8 album, so I'm doing kind of like a Christmas stories album, which I love. All right, please make sure you go check out um, all the links down below, and if you're interested in purchasing any cut files right now, it's a great time to do it because there's 25% off in the shop while this series is going on. So um, make sure you do that as well. And as always, thanks Virginia so much for letting me join. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Bye.